Good morning. Hope you're doing well this morning. I don't know if you've watched a Springbok rugby match lately, but uh, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, every time when, when Sia Kulisi is leading the team out and through the tunnel, they are singing songs. Now they are psyching them up with songs. And uh, especially when they're playing against big teams like New Zealand, England, no, I, I know they must be nervous and they must be, there must be a little bit of fear in them. But when they start to sing these songs, it's as if the countenance on their faces start to change. They become like relaxed and they start to smile and they're still singing these songs. And part of singing these songs, like it's also a little bit intimidating to the other teams as well. Now, in fact, it's kind of a biblical principle, right? David was using the same thing. We read in Psalm 118, we read these words, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Then verse 5 it says, In my anguish I cried out to the Lord, and He answered me by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Now in the middle of great stress, in the middle of great danger, David came and he, and he made the name of the Lord great. He started to praise Him. He started to worship Him. And he literally brought, bring, brought God right into the midst of his problem. Now, what does praise and worship do in the, midst, in, in the midst of trouble? What does it do? First of all, it rises faith within you. Faith starts to rise up within you. Right? It puts you in a place where, Lord, I experience your peace. I experience your favor because I know that you are with me. And also, it changes circumstances. When God is in the midst of your, of your problems, Things change. Things really change. So I want to encourage you. This week coming, if you know that you are facing some, something or someone, just make the name of the Lord great. Start to worship and praise Him. Faith will start to rise up. Peace will come upon you. And God will intervene. Right? And also, when you start to praise the name of the Lord, it's a little bit intimidating to the enemy. It intimidates them. So I want to encourage you. When you face trouble, start to make the name of the Lord great. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you that we can come to you in times of trouble and tribulations, Lord. Father, thank you that we can make your name great in times of this. And knowing, knowing that you will intervene, knowing that you are with us and you are for us. And what can man do to us if you are for us? And Lord, we make your name great.